Hey ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with more video game news, reaction, and discussion. And let's talk about Silent Hill and the state of the video game industry, specifically Konami. So Konami obviously has been in a lot of people's minds over the last two weeks with everything with Kojima, Silent Hill being cancelled, the pulling down of PT off the PlayStation Network, which was a playable teaser that they let out free last year, E3 2015. Well, gamers have reacted, and they have put up a petition on Change.org that says continue working on Silent Hill. My personal opinion on this is not going to work, and I'm going to go into detail on that very soon. But before I say completely won't work, there is a chance. Recently, we have seen that gamers' voices in this generation does matter. Valve and Bethesda went against gamers in the start by putting up pay mods, but as you guys clearly see, our voices were heard and pay mods were actually removed from the Steam store. Will it ever come back? We have yet to know, but most likely it will come back in a new format. But we were upset with the format that paid mods appeared on Steam store and it was removed because gamers voiced their opinions. The same thing happened with Xbox One when the always online controversy began a few years ago. Even Don Matrick had to leave the company after those issues. And here we are with the Change.com petition for Silent Hill. Now, there's a few things I would like to address directly. According to this petition, they want to direct it at Kojima Productions. Of course, Konami is involved, but the petition is Kojima Productions. And why does this matter? They say continue working on Silent Hill. Well, issue one is the IP holder of Silent Hill is the corporation that is Konami. They own the IP. Whatever happens with the IP is Konami's business. So this petition, first of all, should be directed at Konami. Second, Kojima, Del Toro, and Norman Reedus all walked away from the project at this point. It will be very hard to get them all back together on board and to make this work. I just don't think the relationship that they had with the company Konami at this point would actually make Del Toro or Redis actually want to work with them again. That's just my personal opinion. While everything broke apart, I would figure they would not want to spend a big portion of their life working on the game once more and just to have it fall apart a few years from now if Kojima and Konami have some other dispute. Another issue that I see here is a crowdfunding goal. Why not put it on Kickstarter and have the project be crowdfunded? Well, this would actually make me feel kind of bad. Personally, for this game, I wanted it to be a triple A game. I wanted to have the $20 million budget. I wanted to have the big names behind the games, the big actors, the big budget. I know it's something that you guys think can be possible with a crowdfunded game for $2 million, $10 million. Even at those prices, it's not what you really need to bring out a big name game to come to these generation of platforms and PC. Unfortunately, the games we have seen from Kickstarter, yes, have been good, but they have not been on the level of some of the bigger titles out there. The Uncharted, the Gears of War, the Halo, those games cost millions of dollars. And I just don't see that happening with a Kickstarter for a Silent Hill game. As big as Silent Hill might be, even as great as the PT demo might be, it's still a survival horror game. And those games just does not get the backing compared to something like a first-person shooter. Now, if this was Call of Duty, yes, I figured that might get a few million. Maybe even get as much as Star Citizen getting 70 million. And Star Citizen is a unique project because Star Citizen didn't get all their money from one set Kickstarter. They got their money over a long period of time. It didn't go from a Kickstarter that was 30 days and they suddenly had over $50 million. It took almost a year to get that amount of money. So that's what I'm saying here, ladies and gentlemen. Konami and Kojima would need most of that money up front. And for them to get something like a 20 or $30 million budget for this game, which they would definitely need to get Normus Reedus and Del Toro back on board, and Kojima should be paid well as for working on the game. I just don't see a Kickstarter working, even if the funding goal was at least 2 to $5 million. It would have to be a shorter version of the game. Now, what I think gamers should be focusing on is PT. I think gamers should put their effort into making a petition and let your voice know that PT was a unique experience. Why can't Konami actually put this version of PT that's out there free and expand on that to be a more downloadable title? Something like PT could have a Kickstarter to expand on the world of PT and see what more could lie in a game like this. Maybe having a small downloadable title that's only $10 to $20. 
Maybe have it as actually a full-fledged title that's $60 that lasts a few hours and something changes up. I don't know, but PT was such a unique experience for me. I would like to see more of that than I actually would like to see more of Silent Hill at the moment. Because the Silent Hill name for me is kind of in the dirt. I was a big Silent Hill fan back in the day, but TT was something definitely unique. It was something that I liked playing, and it was something I liked watching other people play, especially on Twitch. And that's kind of unique for me. Horror games is not something I usually enjoy watching other people's play. It's just not my thing on YouTube. I just don't like hearing people scream and get frightened on YouTube. It's not me. I, if that's you, that's great. But I think PT hit that level so perfect. Trying to see people try to figure out these difficult puzzles was an amazing thing to watch. And I think if we try to focus our effort to get Konami, not Kojima Productions, Konami here, guys, because remember, they are the IP holder. If Kojima leaves Konami in a few months, well, it's still not going to make him work on a Silent Hill game. Now, there's another possibility here, guys. Maybe Kojima leaves Konami in a few months, and Del Toro and Reedus, for some reason, still wants to work with Kojima, and they still want to make this project happen in their own way. They could do a spiritual, almost like a successor, but not really successor because the game never came out, version of this current Silent Hill. Even with that being said, it will be very difficult to do this. All the names, all the locations, all the plots would have to be totally different. Nothing could be the exactly the same as how it was done before. And I'm pretty sure that Kojima is not going to be able to take his Fox engine with him when he leaves the studio. That is property of Konami. The problem is here, guys. Kojima works for Konami. And until he does... He won't have free reign to do what exactly what he does. And I'm pretty sure that's what started all this issue in the first place. Right now, Konami's shifting into doing mostly mobile and unfortunately gambling type games. That's just where they're going. They're going the route of Sega. I see it going. They're going to be focusing heavily on their Japan business. Pachinko has been doing great for Konami profits-wise. This is why they have left the New York Stock Exchange because they weren't trading much in the United States in the first place. But this is me, Beaky here, with the Untitled Game Show, sharing my opinions on the current situation with Kojima, Konami, and Silent Hill. Share your own opinion. Ah, share your own opinion in the comment section below. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still a little sick. If I can hear my nose, I'm still a little sick. Share your own opinions below. <laughs> Later, guys.